What's up? Welcome into your daily Buckeye Blitz for a Saturday. It's a Saturday, June 22nd, 2024. Welcome to the weekend. We are cruising right through this summer. Uh, I am your cruise director. You're welcome. Hello. I uh, just uh, shoveled some coffee in my face and uh, uh, dry scoop, dry scoop coffee. Yeah, just kidding. Um, so we got a breaking booms here. Breaking booms. That's how I meant to say it. BP Miller, Bob Penn, uh, commits to the Buckeyes, gets his dream offer, commits to Brian Hartline and the Ohio State Buckeyes um, on Friday. So uh, let's get into to BP. Uh, this guy's story is very unique, very interesting. Uh, the Miller family out of uh, Mansfield adopted Bob Penn from Ethiopia as a six-year-old. Yeah, quite the, quite the, uh, I don't know, quite the background um, to be uh, brought over to the states when you're six years old, and uh, grew into a Buckeye fan. So let's talk about him here. Uh, BP, six four one eighty. I've also seen one ninety. We'll go with one ninety. Um, Ontario High School uh, in uh, the Mansfield area. Uh, three star eight six eight nine nationally ranked number eight one three yeah eight thirteen uh, number one twenty eight wide receiver and number thirty player in Ohio they got him listed as an athlete he uh, plays quarterback right now for Ontario uh, he will be a receiver though for the Buckeyes now um, uh, Miller is the definition of an under the radar recruit. Uh, 24-7 Sports is the only recruiting service that had a ranking on him at all. And those rankings are going to go up, or that ranking, I should say, that one. Um, his uh, Let's talk about his his uh, background in his high school career. Um, national recruiting analyst Alan True uh, wrote up a uh, – a good scouting report on on BP he said high school quarterback with length and athleticism, springy, bouncy basketball player with explosive qualities, uh, shows he can track the ball and adjust to passes. Uh, needs more reps at the position, but natural ball skills are there. I, I have to imagine that's what Brian Hartline saw. Um, has to polish his route running, and but still has the clay to work with. Uh, has to. Though has the work ethic and intangibles necessary to capitalize on that potential. Uh, could be a gadget type player his first year while he learns to play receiver. Um, and they project him as a power four starter. Again, I'm trying to pound power four into my brain. Uh, no longer the power five. Um, he uh, also runs track. He ran a 21.95 in the 200. Plays basketball, like I mentioned. As a junior last year, he threw for uh, 2,328 yards, 19 touchdowns, and rushed for over 1,000 yards with 17 more touchdowns. So that's 36 touchdowns to you and me. Yeah, public school. Um, so uh, let's talk about uh, how this came about. He was offered by the Buckeyes this Tuesday, this past Tuesday, after two dynamic camp performances in front of Brian Hartline. Uh, he picked the Buckeyes over Boston College and a bunch of Ivy League programs. So you you know what kind of uh, academic uh, guy you're dealing with here. Very strong there. Um, he's the first in-state receiver recruit that will play for our, for Brian Hartline since Jaden Ballard in the class of 2021. Yeah, been a while. Uh, Miller's decision came about 72 hours after landing the offer from Hartline. And uh, this is the result of hard work and a dream come true for uh, for the rising senior. Uh, Miller said it, it feels, quote, it feels surreal. It doesn't really feel real. My parents and my coaches always believed in me, gave me the courage to do, to do this. So it's a blessing. He went on to say, quote, all the players they put in the league, talking about the Buckeyes, of course, and just the resume those guys have, especially Heartline, they put a lot of guys in the league and they win championships. I've heard nothing but that they're great guys and nothing but great things about Heartline and the staff. Uh, I just couldn't pass it up. It's always been a dream to play for the Buckeyes and they have a good education and 
I value education a lot. I turned down some Ivy League for this. Uh, his commitment was not a surprise to the Ohio State staff, but how quickly it came did kind of catch them off guard. Um, Miller said, quote, when I first told Ryan Day, he was like, wow, that was quick. <laughs> Those were his first words. Uh, he went on to say, quote, I was like, yeah, I've been waiting on this one. I, I think I just went over things with my family and talked it all through, talked to the Lord and felt like this was the right fit. Uh, Day, Day was very happy and excited. I can imagine. Um, the Buckeyes were impressed by BP's size, his speed, his raw athleticism. Um, he ran just under 23 miles per hour at an Ohio State camp a week ago. So he's moving. Then he came back this past Tuesday and ran a 4-4-4-40. So uh, that wasn't just a, a one-timer. Uh, he, he's played quarterback throughout his high school career and now he's only camped three separate times as a receiver in the last month. He made the conversion to receiver and started really working on it four months ago. So very raw, very new to the position. But again, uh, like the uh, recruiting analyst said, he has the clay to work with. Um, so he's going to uh, Miller is going to play uh, for on, quarterback for Ontario this fall. Uh, then he'll focus on wide receiver, um, and he has a. a, a quiet confidence about him, a subtle confidence. Uh, he said, quote, it's going to be very competitive, as I already knew. Uh, to me, I believe I'm just as good as some of those guys. I've got a lot of work to do. Uh, there's a reason Hardline gave me this chance. I have the raw potential, talent, speed, athleticism. I've just got to work harder than everybody else. So it's got the right mindset. Um, so BP is going to need to work on building relationships with the rest of this 2025 class. Um, he's, he's not making an official visit this weekend, so he won't be able to connect with the other uh, big names that are on campus. Um, he will make that official visit trip in the fall, and uh, he has had time to uh, connect with uh, Tavian St. Clair and get some reps in with him. So that's key. Uh, he said, Quote, uh, a couple of months ago, I started throwing with St. Clair. So I've got some, I caught some balls from him and have a little bit of connection with him. That's about it. So again, he's going to have to work on getting to know the rest of the people in his class. Uh, so uh, Miller's commitment is number 17 for the Ohio State recruiting class. Uh, he is now the third receiver in the class. Uh, he joins New Jersey prospects Quincy Porter and Des Jones. And Heartline would like to add one or two more receivers to this 2025 class. Um, so we'll keep an eye out. Uh, I'm sure that uh, there's some big names. We know the big names that uh, Brian Hardline's waiting on. Uh, Bernie Three Sticks, Jamie French, Corian Moore, Philip Bell. Uh, those are just to name a few. So we'll see where the chips fall. But uh, I think you got to get two more in this 2025 uh wide receiver class at least so so keep it locked in here we may have a, uh, a jake cook is on the radar to possibly commit this weekend i'm hearing that there's a surprise commitment in the works so i don't think that's jake cook i think it's probably uh one of the bigger bigger um headliners for this weekend's official visitors so keep it locked in here we'll hit you with a breaking booms if needed so I got for, for you today. Talk to you tomorrow. Go Bucks.